from seasoned professionals to budding entrepreneurs, women are increasingly taking charge of their financial futures, breaking the stereotype and reshaping the landscape of not only investments, but also across multiple aspects of business. Today, Guardian Asset Management's Vice President of Investments, Narissa Hussain, and Senior Manager, Private Wealth, Catherine Tomyu, share their perspectives on how women can grow their wealth, mitigate risk, and break the investment glass ceiling. Hi, Catherine. Uh, in terms of the topic of women and investing, I think one of the key things that we, we do need to include is planning for the long term. I mean, I've been in this business for the last 22 years and every conversation starts with planning for the long term in terms of ensuring that you meet those goals uh, from a financial perspective, financial well-being and independence. Yes, Narissa, I totally agree with you. And, and actually, this is one of the best times to have a discussion around this topic. I think because a lot of women I'm seeing now are attending to their financial needs, they are exploring opportunities for growth and wealth preservation. So it's important that we address this right now at this time. Yeah, and a key part of that uh, in terms of getting that, that growth and that wealth preservation is having a right portfolio that meets your risk tolerance and is diversified. Today, women are taking on more and more risk in investing. They are moving away from traditional savings and fixed income products, asking for broader range of investments such as local equities and foreign equities, trying to understand how these products work on the international market, looking at unconventional investments and asking more questions, which I find is really inspiring. Catherine, it's interesting that you, you raise that topic about you know women wanting to find out about more uh, information and also take on more risk because there is this myth that women are risk averse investors you know women don't take on risk but how, what have you been experiencing in terms of your clients? Narissa that is totally not true what I've been seeing lately women are taking on more risk and how reason for that is that they're looking for higher returns and I think they know that there's a correlation, a direct correlation between risk and returns. So to, in order to get these high returns, they have to take on more risk. It's just a matter of them coming to me and we are having a discussion about it so they can understand. You can also take calculated risk. You don't have to take risk that is blindsided. Catherine, I guess what you mean in terms of calculated risk is really, you know, your, in, your clients and your investors knowing the risk that they're getting into and being informed. You are ensuring that you align your investments with, with your comfort level. At Guardian Asset Management, we put you through a process where we ask you a series of questions. This would help us determine your risk profile that's in order to appropriately design a portfolio that fits your needs. Catherine, another myth is that women lack financial knowledge. Personally, I think this is untrue because we've seen internationally that a lot of women are holding senior leadership positions in the financial services sector, for instance, the Federal Reserve. What are, what are your thoughts? Well, I totally agree with you. And actually, on my side of the business, with my experience with my clients, uh, that is not true. They are actually seeking advice, going on to a lot of different websites, joining investment clubs. But I still believe that they need to establish a good relationship with a trusted advisor. I think this is really important because I find myself, you know, coaching and mentoring emotions during varying times. Thank you, Catherine, for the points that you brought up. I do think the conversation reinforces that the glass ceiling has been broken as it relates to women in investing. 